how to embed HTML code to Hostinger Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to embed any type of code newly or HTML codes into the uh, Hostinger Website Builder of yours. So the process is going to be very simple and very easy. You're going to head over Hostinger.com, sign in for an account, and then you're going basically to head over the websites. You're going to click on the left side of the screen on the websites, select websites list, and from here, you're going to select any website. So for example, you're going to select the website that has the specific Hostinger website builder logo on it, which is this one. So I'm going to click on edit website, and then we are going to wait for the website to load up. Once the website is loading up, so you're going to add the specific section or an empty section that we are going to have or add an embed code in it. So basically, you're going to head over here. As you can see, these are going to be some codes that I have put in here. I'm going to delete them and we are going to start from scratch. I'm going to add a section. That section is preferably to be a blank section. And from here, we are going to add an element. Now we are going to see some elements. We are going to scroll down until we see embed code. Add it in here. Double tap on it. Delete the code or the uh, writings in here. And now you are going to be able to add your code. How you can get these codes? Basically, it is going to be dependent on the type of code that you are going to add. For example, if you are going to add a design, for example, from Canva, a uh, let's say slides some slides or some forms or some uh, let's say suitable or embedded forms um, things or elements you can go ahead and head over for example canva or you can insert some tables by uh, heading over uh, tablesgenerator.com and generate html codes or html tables like these you can generate and copy to the clipboard or you can go ahead and integrate more advanced code or embedded codes like widgets. You can go ahead and head over elfsite.com and create a widget or select one of the widgets that you have here already if you know Elfsite. From here, you're going to be able to add the embedded code. For example, we've had added on the uh, before videos, audio players, video players, and also um, some of the reviews or review sliders like Google reviews, as you can see, testimonial sliders and etc. from Elfsite. So you can check our channel to see more about these videos. You can go ahead and add whatever you want from here. For example, I'm going to add here a logo slider. I'm going to create one from here and then we are going to view it. Basically, we need only the code of it to copy and paste it. This is the slider. I'm going to see it. As you can see, the simple images are gone. I don't know why, but it is okay. So we are going to ignore that specific code. We are going to have maybe an Instagram feed. I'm going to click on edit. We are going to see here the specific source or the specific hashtag that we have. For example, this iPhone hashtag. What are we going to do is to publish that specific code. For example, we can modify the layout, the size of it, and etc. We can go ahead and click on install, copy that script source, and then we are going to add it in here, for example, and boom. We are going to wait for the feed to appear in here. So basically, this is the feed that we have chosen. So basically, you can make that, uh, as you can see, um, extendable, and also you can make it as much as you want. This is the first method or this is the first added code. You can also add the, uh, as you can see here, generated code by copying the code of the specific uh, here table, add it by had here or had in over here, double tap on it, paste your code in here, and you're going to see your table in here. So basically, we're going to click on it. Make sure at least that the code is going to function uh, normally. So this code is uh, causing some problems and this one too. So we are going to make it like that. And the final one, you can go ahead and integrate a Canva design into this specific page by having it embed. So 
you're going to select any any design that you have into your canva so we are going to click on share then we are going to make sure that we are going to click on see all and then you're going to see the embed click on it have the html embed code copy it add over here and we can enter the code again and here in the place of that click on embed again and you're going to see your design boom here we have it basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one